Good day, everyone, and welcome to another installment of SCORE Boston Presents. I'm your host, Rob Stutzman, and today we are pleased to introduce to you Jasmine Jemison of Friends, a nonprofit organization whose mission is to provide mentorship, tutoring, and financial literacy education to young women of color from low-income families. Jasmine is also the recipient of the 2023 SCORE Boston Nonprofit of the Year Award. Jasmine, welcome. Thank you. Our listeners are eager to learn a little bit more about you, so why not take a moment to tell us a bit more about yourself and your background? Sure. My name is Jasmine Jemison. I am a Boston born, raised, and stayed all this time. I've um, lived in North Shore, South Shore, and inner city Boston. And I graduated from Boston College, um, which feels like a long time ago, but 2015. Um, and I pretty much have been the event planner of my friend group. So we explore a bunch of different things around Boston. Wonderful. So we understand that since 2020, your organization uh, have been helping 22 young women achieve their academic, financial, and career goals. To what do you attribute such rapid growth in, in a short period of time? Sure. For starters, my SCORE mentors, Susan and John, uh, they have contributed so much time, knowledge, and support thus far. And secondly, the benefit of the program and mentorship speaks for itself. And um, every any successful person that you know or you ask um, how they've gotten to that point, they'd say a mentor. So as much as I've been uh, mentored by SCORE, I also mentor in Friends Mentors Young Women of Color. So I think that's the um, attribute to assess. It has grown by word of mouth, people wanting the support and to give that support to other young girls. Um, wow, that's really great. Um... You know, as is true with many nonprofits, uh, your organization relies on a team of volunteers and mentors who are committed to making a difference in the lives of young women. What have you found an effective strategy for finding the right people? Sure. One of my favorite quotes is, we rise by lifting others. So the people I find, I make sure they believe in that quote and personally are motivated to help these young women, uh, mainly because they came from similar backgrounds in schools and neighborhoods or cultures that the students we help come from. Uh, naturally, you feel connected to the people who are similar to you, uh, so that the women in our network be end up becoming impromptu and informal older sisters by creating bonds and the conversations that they share and then the experiences that they discuss in their meetings. That's great, thank you. Uh, nonprofits have a particular challenge getting started as many have to raise their own funds. What have been the key factors to supporting friends financially? Generous people <laughs> who believe in the vision and then more importantly, generous friends and family. My friends and family have been extremely helpful in helping me see my vision and bring my vision to fruition. Um, so it's very much grassroots donors, individual donors and a few marketing campaigns that got me to the point that uh, well, got friends to the point that they are at now. Wonderful. Uh, when did you first contact SCORE and how did we help you? I'd actually say that the first time I learned about SCORE was in 2019. I went to a bunch of district hall events for entrepreneurs and I've seen SCORE Boston always having a table. Um, I wasn't at the point where I wanted to do anything impactful on a large scale, so I didn't reach out until February 2021. And shortly after meeting Susan and later John, I submitted my 501c in that same year, May. And next thing you know, I was approved and they keep me on my toes. They keep <laughs> me moving ahead and help me organize my thoughts, help me learn about processes on a more um, um, clear basis, and then also help me set new goals every single time we meet. <laughs> they keep me on my toes for sure. Wonderful. Yeah, they are both uh, wonderful uh, <laughs> mentors. We're so glad to have them. Definitely. Uh, I'm sure you've seen some uh, great successes so far. Which has been your greatest? Um, my greatest success, and more importantly, Friends' greatest success, was also Friends' first challenge. 
Um, in 2020, one of the five students we supported decided to not attend college and equally decided not to engage in friends programs anymore. But we weren't ready to give up on her. So we helped redirect her into a college exploration, I'm sorry, career exploration program like the Europe. And after working in the industry, she decided now this year, she just texted me last Saturday saying that she wants to go to college. So we are going to start meeting now to help her get into college. And I think really it's the community that we have. A lot of the young girls her age are in college and they talk about college and all the fun that they have and all the things that they're learning and all the people that they are exposed to. So that has been part of the influence for her to want, one, want to go back to college and two, continue the passion she feels from the dental industry. Excellent. Excellent. I'm sure you've had, have also faced a number of challenges along the way. What's What has been your greatest challenge to date? Uh, the challenge is getting young people <laughs> excited about saving money. <laughs> wow. Especially in the midst of concert season, music festivals, new clothes, new different things you can see on TikTok. Getting them to want to save at least some of that money is a mindset shift. So that's what we work on, mindset shifting um, at Friends. So we build it, we nurture it, and we award them for doing those things like saving money instead of spending it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, financial planning for young people is so important. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so important. Thank you. Is there any additional advice you would offer to those looking to start a nonprofit? Yes. It's also a challenge I had at the beginning. You have to really be sure about the people you add into your board and you have volunteer for you at the beginning because the initial phase of starting a nonprofit is hard. It is challenging because it's a free, most of the time it's a free service. So getting the money, getting the support, getting the work to be done, such as marketing and communication takes a lot out of someone else's day to day. So making sure that people you start with have the bandwidth to support you throughout the startup phase, throughout all the long nights and long meetings. Um, that's the most important thing I've learned. Um, and that's what I look for when I'm getting more people to be on the board. Wonderful. I, I, I could see why you're an award winner because you're extremely committed to your vision. And uh, it's been great to hear about uh, all the wonderful things that uh, have been occurring and that your organization is is having an input on uh, young women. Uh, thank so you. Thank you so much for sharing that. Okay, it's time for rapid fire. <laughs> I will ask you a series of questions and you tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. Okay, favorite drink? Sprite. I don't drink soda though. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Sprite. Okay, favorite song? That's hard, but favorite song of the summer is Demi Lovato, Give You a Heart a Break. <laughs> okay. And favorite destination? Is Jamaica. Will always be Jamaica since I was four years old. <laughs> I've yet to go. I, I look forward to going somewhere. Oh, yeah. that needs to be on your bucket list. <laughs> I will put it on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, excellent. Thank you so much for your time and, and really uh, myself and the rest of the SCORE organization. Just wish you the best of success uh, throughout the rest of 2023. Thank you so much. I appreciate sure. it.